My name is Isis Tumor and this is my story. <laughs> Originally from Sierra Leone, but raised in Guinea for most of my childhood. My dad has 15 kids. Majority of us are in the U.S. Some of us are in um, Africa. Some of us are in the U.K. My childhood was in Africa, but I grew up mostly in America. But what brought me in the U.S. is my health. When I was seven years old, that is 17 years ago, I was basically near death. My whole life revolves around my health. When I was growing up, everything was okay. I went to school, everything was okay. But when I started getting older, my health started to become more of a problem. There are times like when I'll go to school, I'll be all drugged up because of the medication that I'll be in. It's hard living my life trying to go to school, trying to maintain a job, and trying to do everything when people don't know much about your illness, especially when you are working in a community that does not know anything about sickle cell. You can't tell when you're gonna get sick. It just pops up out of nowhere. People don't understand it because it's a black disease, it's a colored disease. And I got a lot of hate, I got a lot of abuse, I got a lot of racism when I was working. My whole life turned about three years ago when I got bit by a tick. And when I got bit by a tick, we didn't know what was going on. I went to the hospital, they sent me back home, and then went back to like two days later and ended up in life support. The next thing I remember was waking up in a new hospital, tubes down by my mouth, seeing a whole lot of stuff hanging. I was in a coma for about two days, life support for about five days. I had to learn how to walk, talk, basically learn how to do my life over again. I couldn't talk, I couldn't walk, I had to do therapy. It's all the grace of God that I'm still here. Sickle cell anemia, you're born with it. Like you're not something that you catch or something. It's a gene mutation within your red blood cell. Instead of being a full circle, it's a half a circle and it gets stuck in your vein veins and stuff damages your organs so throughout my life I'll have a lot of infections I'll be hospitalized a lot being on life support changed my life a lot not knowing what your life is gonna turn out to be like you could be okay the next day and not be okay the next day and some of the stuff when you go into crisis your life could be a threat you could literally die from just having a crisis so besides being on life support, um, I had to get my gallbladder removed. During that time, I had a blood clot in my lung. And right now, currently, I have a blood clot in my lung. I'm on blood thinners to keep the blood clot. Because if it moves to my brain, I could get a stroke. If it moves to my heart, I could get a heart attack and die. And stuff like that, when you're living with stuff like that, and you could know you could die at any moment, it really changed your perspective about life in a lot of ways. My way of life is just, you know, do what you want to do, what makes you happy as long as it's, you know, it's going to be okay with God and always be kind. That's my one thing I always preach on people, be kind because you don't know where life will take you. The only thing I can tell you is just live your life day by day like tomorrow is never promised. So right now, what I'm trying to uh, achieve as my lifetime goal is to promote better health in Africa. So um, as soon as I could get myself together, I want to go back to Africa. I want to help educate them about sickle cell. I want to help it bring better health care because honestly, we don't have all this stuff. Like when I tell you this. When I go to the hospital and I see the type of equipment and the type of medication that is given to me, you know, God is, God is glory. Everything, God brought me here for a reason. He put me in my situation for a reason. If I could build a hospital in Africa, I would. Like, that's my lifetime goal. You know, the littlest things does matter. It's just about building a foundation and then moving on from there.